Hey y'all, I'm Ashley and this is Ashley's Closet. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, glad to have you. I hope you enjoy this video and will consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and joining my YouTube family. So today's video is a follow-up on last my last video, which was the unboxing of this bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Odeon Ilm Ilm. And I kind of wanted to just do a follow-up, um, my thoughts on it, what fits in it, um, let you see shoulder wear versus crossbody wear. And I'm also gonna give some more details on the bag itself. So it comes in two different sizes, the Ilm Ilm and the PM. I have the Ilm Ilm, which is the larger sized. It comes in two different prints, which would be the Monogram or the Damier Aben. And then more specifically, uh, back over to the monogram, you can choose in your um, leather trim between the black, which the house calls noir, or the vachetta. I wanna point out though, that this is not the typical vachetta that you see on their bags. This is what the house now calls aged vachetta. So they've already done some of the work on the, the um, tanning of it, or not really the tanning because it's natural, but, um, it getting darker, I just drew a blank on what it's called, but in, uh, the patina, there you go. But um, anyways, I do wanna point out while I'm talking about this leather is that a lot of the other YouTubers pointed out that they went with the Noir because it would be more carefree. But what I've noticed since I've carried it is it appears to have some type of coating on it as well. In comparison to my Speedy handles, it does not scratch as easily. I also want to mention that we got caught in a drizzle in Crested Butte and I had it on and it did get drizzled on and the water just kind of beat it up. Now, that's not to say that you could go out in a monsoon and that, you know, it might not would like leave watermarks or something that I don't know, but just as of right now, to me, it appears to not scratch as easily and to be more carefree than the um, naked Vachetta. Okay, so some specifics on the bag. It has two zippers. Let me pull them together so maybe you can kind of get a better look at them. Um, these, from what I've heard, I don't know for sure, but these are a newer zipper pull. And I want to say that it says Louis Vuitton Paris on both zipper pulls and on both sides. I don't know, I hope you can see this a little better. Okay. And I also wanna point out that the clasps here are gonna be what you will see on the strap of the bandolier. And on both of them have Louis Vuitton on them. So they both have Louis Vuitton on both the front and the back, okay? We have the luggage tag right here. Now this is for decoration, but it is removable. You can unhook it and take it off, but it's not an actual usable luggage tag to put your information in. Some people, I feel like either you love that or you hate it, I love it. It has a generous sized front pocket that holds plenty of things. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it is a magnetize it's a hidden magnet so you can't see it it just finds its way shut and back to the strap this is a chunky buckle and it's got louis vuitton i know you won't be able to see it but it says louis vuitton on both sides the front and back right here okay and i will show you quickly what i've got in it to give you an idea of what fits in it in the front pocket i've got my vintage louis vuitton Key holder, this is one that zips around. I know you've seen it on my channel before. They quit making this years ago. This was from the nine, either the 80s or the 90s, I don't remember. And that's all that I have in the front pocket. In the main compartment, I've got my Emily, my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet. I got this in 2015 from Louis Vuitton in New Orleans. This was a birthday gift from my daddy. And then I've got my vintage um, toiletries 19. I'm not gonna go over what's in it. If you've seen it once, you've seen it 10,000 times and um, everybody knows what they look like. But that is gonna be all that I've got. Let me see, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but this is what the inside looks like. It's just one big compartment. You've got a back slip pocket on this wall that I'm tapping on the back. 
and there's no zip whatsoever. It's just open. And that is it on compartments. Now, let me mention one more thing on this strap before I forget. As of right now, I've got it for shoulder wear and I've got it on the shortest hole. And what I do to hold the tail down, because this is stationary, it's sewn in, so you cannot adjust it up and down. I can see the pros and the cons of it, but um, for me, it leaves a whole lot of extra tail. And so what I've done is gotten one of the girls clear little hair ties for like little baby hair and I've put it on to hold this down. So that's what I do there. Okay, let me go over um, some prices before I forget. So the PM as of today, October 2022, retails for 2100, that does not include tax. The MM as of today retails for 2230. The measurements for the PM are 9.4 inches in length by 8.7 inches in height by 3.1 inches in width. And again, it retails for 2100, this is the PM. And the strap drop at the shortest is 15.7 inches and the max is 19.7 inches. Okay. The MM, to recap, retails for $22.30. It is 12.2 inches in length by 10.6 inches in height by 3.5 inches in width. And its strap drop at the shortest is 16.5 inches and the max is 19.7 inches. Okay, so now that I have shown you what fits in it and some of the details and specs on it. I will give you some mod shots. So um, I will show you crossbody versus long shoulder. And I do want you guys to tell me what you think about that. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. So now I want to show you what it looks like crossbody and long shoulder. Um, I've got it on the longest setting which is the seventh down and this is what it looks like crossbody and at first I thought it was a little too short to wear crossbody but then I got to thinking it's hitting right you know right here at the fatty part of my hip and especially with a bigger size crossbody I don't want it real long because when I start walking it starts kind of bouncing off my hip and no I can't deal with that I've got hips and I don't need things bouncing off of them so <clears throat> this is what it looks like from the front. I do feel like it may jut out a little, but I don't know. Tell me what you think. This is to the side. And I'll show you the back as well. This is what it looks like from the back. And then the side. And the front. And this is about this is about where I would carry it kind of on the back side of my hip and so I could rest my hand down. So that's where I would carry it if I were carrying it as a crossbody. But let me change it and shorten it a little bit and let you see what it looks like as a long shoulder. Now, long shoulder, I have played with it enough to know that if I do wear it long shoulder that I want it on the shortest setting I do know that. <clears throat> and this is it as a long shoulder. And again, it falls right at the fatty part of my hip, which is a good length. If I'm walking, I kind of tuck it behind my arm like that and throw it over my back towards my rear. It's a good length. I can get into it easily, into both pockets easily, in and out, and then just go. So let me know what you think below in the comments if you think, you know, the crossbody just doesn't look good or isn't flattering or if this doesn't look good or what. Chandra, I know you'll watch. Bill, I know you will too. Let me know what y'all think. Um, but overall, it's a great bag. I'm enjoying it. Um, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Not the PM though, the MM. But if you don't carry even as much as I do, then the PM would work fine for you. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time in Ashley's Closet. Bye y'all.